I'm Stephanie Tower. Subscribe and never miss the Bitcoin Beat. This is CoinGeek Pulse. The U.S. Department of Justice, or DOJ, appoints a heavyweight digital asset prosecutor to head the country's new crypto team. The U.S. DOJ has tapped veteran prosecutor Un Young Choi to lead the department's National Cryptocurrency Enforcement Team, or NCET. Choi has served as the lead prosecutor in a number of digital asset cases, including against the unlicensed exchange Coin.mx and has successfully argued the appeal against Silk Road founder Ross Ulbricht. The NCET is the center for DOJ's efforts to tackle the growth of crimes involving the illicit use of digital assets and digital ledger technologies. The team will also assist in support and training to federal, state, local and international law enforcement to investigate and prosecute crypto-related crime. In an effort to attract a digital currency companies, and the world's largest fintech groups. The United Arab Emirates prepares for federal licenses. The UAE is set to issue licenses for virtual asset service providers or VASPs by the end of the first quarter. According to a government official, legislation to allow setting up of VASPs is in the final stage of amendment by the Securities and Commodities Authority. Some of the country's financial free zones have already issued permits for VASPs after completing risk assessment last year. The said licensing system for digital asset firms will help the UAE compete with the world's financial centers Singapore and Hong Kong, which are also working on their respective regulatory efforts. These initiatives have attracted more digital asset technology events in the country, including the first-ever BSB Global Blockchain Convention, which will take place on May 24-26 to at the Grand Hyatt in Dubai. To celebrate Beijing's success of hosting 2008 Summer Olympics and 2022 Winter Olympics, China launched a digital commemorative collection NFTs. The online cultural activity Snowflakes Illuminate the Centenary Journey of Winter Games was officially launched with a set of non-fungible tokens or NFTs. The collection includes images featuring the mascot, Xiao Tang, as an athlete in five different winter games. The NFTs are now on the NFT On Show platform, which is powered by the BSB blockchain, where minting fee per NFT is only about 0.015 cents. In other news, Handcash partners with Circle and Fabrique to offer an easy and instant in-app BSB top-up experience. By integrating Fabrique's Weave API into the client's onboarding experience, it is now easier to provide BSB liquidity in-app and to trade crypto seamlessly. And before you go, check out the latest episodes of BSB Stories set in Las Vegas. What is the metaverse? Watch the full video on the CoinGeek YouTube channel. I'm Stephanie Tower. You're watching CoinGeek Pulse. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain. 
if you are interested in watching the future episodes of the show, click here. Or to see more great Cranky content, click here. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss the amazing shows and content on the Coin Geek channel.